You're with BBC Radio Nottingham, 27 minutes past eight o'clock. Let's delve into the newspapers today. Front pages of the papers this morning, uh, many of them talking about the missing girl, of course, in uh, Bristol, the fact that this is now being treated as a, a murder investigation. But what else is in the papers today? Simon Gray is the chief executive of Nottingham Means Business. It's a business-led organisation, over 200 different members. Hello, Simon. Good morning, morning Andy. To you. Um, and you've been browsing through the papers to pick out some bits and bobs that y you think are significant. You found oh. a in the Telegraph, haven't you? Yeah, I certainly have. Shall we be brave and start with something political? Well, you, you can be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do what okay. you want. So spending on overseas aid is set to outgrow the defence budget within 15 years. And what's interesting, I think, is after the MI6 has come under scrutiny in recent weeks, is this the right kind of decision? Um, apparently, the defence budget has fallen by 1.8% year on year for the past five years, which means by 2030-31, it will have uh, been overtaken by our aid budget. Yeah, if aid continues at the rate yeah. that it is. So yeah. what, what do you make of that? Well, I think it's slightly worrying. I think we live in a world now which is getting increasingly more dangerous, not safer. And I think to cut our defence budget, uh, I think we need to think long and hard about, about doing that before we do it. The, the Telegraph actually reports that it says we should never forget that the first duty of government remains defence of the realm. Mm. So Aid is an interesting one, isn't it? Because I'm always being told that, that overseas aid is actually about business. It's, it's about stimulating business. It's about British companies yeah. getting something out of the countries that are getting the aid. And well, here you are, a businessman. Well, absolutely. I mean, it's an international world, isn't it? So if we help other countries that need our help, then potentially we can do trade with them. Uh, there's a you know a case for you know business, not just not just the aid itself. Yeah, but but you don't think it's right that the international aid is higher than the defence budget <sighs> if it ends up like that. I think it's, international aid is important, but I think we can't afford to cut our defence budget too much, given you know the state of the world at the moment, which is you know as I said a dangerous place. Okay, um, new picture of the Queen's going on coins. Yes, I was pleased to see this because the the Queen has got a faint smile. It's been given the <laughs> uh, the royal seal of approval. Um, so I didn't realise this, but the Queen in autumn of this year will pass Queen Victoria's record as the longest reigning British monarch. Uh, and this is going to be, be commemorated with a new portrait, the fifth portrait of the Queen. Uh, and Jodie Clark, who's designed it, he's a 34-year-old guy at the Royal Mint, said he wanted to make her look less stern and give her a slightly warmer expression, which I think is nice. It is. Yes, yeah. it is. Have you been watching that portrait um, programme on BBC One? I've not seen so it, no. Nottinghamshire's Richard Bacon is, is hosting it. Uh, and one of the things they did is visit someone who did portraits of the royals, and uh, she did a lovely, lovely portrait of William and Harry that she'd painted. Okay. Uh, but she'd also done one of the Queen, which was shockingly bad. I mean, it was really it? looked... <laughs> It looked like Winston Churchill in drag. Uh, and it's yeah, this be was authentic. being heralded as, uh, you know, a fantastic painting. Well, she's I'm the queen. What? You, you, she's the queen. She can, off, uh, you've got to make her look head. good, haven't you? Yeah. Anyway, um, drinking coffee is good for you. I like the idea of this one. I thought you might. Yeah. 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 Good news. So three coffees a day cuts the risk of a heart attack considerably. Um, I thought this is quite interesting. We had a recent announcement that drinking wine, a glass of red wine a yeah. night is good for you as well. Um, so this research, I think, will be welcomed by me and possibly by you. <laughs> yes, you're a absolutely. Coffee drinker. And we're the only two who matter. So. Yeah. So the good, good news is you can drink coffee in the morning and have a glass of red wine at night and Excellent. not feel guilty. The day is good. Thank you, Simon. Simon Gray, Chief Executive of Nottingham Means Business with his view of the papers today. It's half past eight. The latest news headlines now come from Steve Beach.